Yo, Ez, what's up? Over here. Oh, hey, Frisk. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you. Back Hope you had a good Easter, by the way. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. <laughs> they told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosni and Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. Uh. I got a Pazak game planned for them later to help boost morale. Gotta do our part. I just want to gamble all the time. Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, this is something else. Hmm. My money's on some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. I don't know there if it's not. that first. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Yeah, just go back Whatever to your gambling is, game. How about that? It's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. Hmm, we'll see about that. I'm kind of the new guy around here. Uh, yeah, that being said, I am drinking tonight, so if you use that shot, shot, shots, channel points, I will drink. But I'll probably just drink anyways. I need it. Uh, I love every rebel fighter fairly and equally, but I think the X-Wing wins out for being the most iconic. I agree with that mostly. The B-Wing can go die in a hole. I don't care what anyone says, that ship is ugly as fuck. Give me back the V-Wing! That's what I want! You're right, Lyndon. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon. What have you done? Why am I here for this? Relax, Ardo. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. He's challenging her. Bruh. Bruh, why would you do that? Should have sent her a message the first time and just time finished her off. Brief. You watched the Ahsoka trailer? I have not watched it yet. Uh, I will. I will get around to it. Probably tonight after this. Uh, I've been busy with other things. All right, I always gotta look. There's a lot more people in this briefing room. This must be an important one. I I love the look of the everyone rebel briefing here. room. Just like everyone just sitting around watching the 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 hollow screen or whatever. Holocron? No, that's the that's the artifacts. Anyways, an old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. He sent our nudes. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus. Yeah. And it to oblivion. The Elder Scrolls Four to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off. We'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. This... Okay. I have a few thoughts. Number one, this kind of sounds like... This feels very much like uh, the Prisoners of the Maw mission from uh, Rogue Squadron 2. But that just might be me. 
Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. So why are you telling me Just anything? Trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zerelda should have your ship almost ready. Zerelda's an RE away from being just straight up Zelda. Oh, yeah, and also the Imperial Listening Dish looked very, very Imperial in design. AKA looks very similar to the um, Imperial Sigil or Crest or whatever. I do like this mission, plenty of explosions. Well, we're in B, or we're in Y Wings, so yeah, of course. They took a lot from the previous games and things. Oh, they did, yeah, they, they. They were very clearly inspired by some of the mission set pieces and design from, like, the Rogue Squadron games, but without, like, oh, this is just a remake of that mission kind of thing. I love it. Fantastic. I have to say, the Commander's plan is quite clever. Is it? All the secrecy and subterfuge. It's almost Imperial. Well, I mean, he kind of I know is... the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but... You must admit their tactics are effective. Mmm, a little, no, uh... You adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. The very Luthan thing the to say. He's using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. God, Andor was so good. This is actually such a good game to follow up having finished Andor with. Like, it actually gets into a little bit of the geopolitics and the kind of subterfuge about running operations and stuff. Like, this is perfect. Hey, Keo, how's it going? When Jade talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He yeah, must have cared about awkwardness. Uh, I mean, yeah. Pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Jade's. This feels personal. Usually is. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Mm. Hate that right. cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. It's Are you fair. ready? I don't know. Am I ready? It's been a while since I've flown a Y Wing in any capacity. Um, I'm gonna have to get used to bombing from first person, whatever that's like. It's a breath of fresh air from EA. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this and, like, Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivors seem to be... Well, I mean, like, huge emphasis on the single player. It's just like, hmm, suddenly that works better for people for Star Wars. I wish there was more media or just Rebel hit-and-run missions. Yeah, like, the old X-Wing, TIE Fighter games, Rogue Squadron, Squadrons. I can't think of much else. I mean, Squadrons was a really good attempt to kind of get back into that. I don't know the next time we're going to see some of this. But, like, I'm just saying, they've been doing a lot of Star Wars TV shows lately, and, like, a Rogue Squadron or Star... Honestly, they could literally copy the format from this game and probably get away with making something amazing. Y-Wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. Mm-hmm. Let it load out. You know what? Let's go with the guided. Nice. I want to. Uh, I want to not focus on the shooting too much while I'm bombing. Well, we're bombing a stationary structure. Oh wait, we have both. I see. Oh oh oh, I see. I see. Right, heavy bombs. Not a huge amount of options. Cheap hat? <laughs> it almost looks like it says it's cheap. Cheap deflector hall. Um. <sighs> I don't know which ones to take. Let's see. No, I don't need to be any slower. Might be, you know what? We're gonna have the Ewing with us, so we can we could take a hit on the health for extra shields. I 
automatic shield. So when a shield hits zero. Eh. Oh, it's standard. Engines. Now nah, we'll go standard engines. I think that's good. Mission is a launch. Vanguard Squadron, let's go. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard everything? What did you broadcast? She only cares about finding our Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure, still. Better bomb this listing post into oblivion, right? The hell were you sending? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Risk. Better not have been sending loots. No one wants to see that shit. This is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Yeah, this feels like prisoners of the maw. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. This feels a lot like Prisoners of the Ma, and I'm all for it. Now I gotta remember the controls. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing, the Empire had no choice but to intercept. <laughs> What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. I have a feeling we're actually the bait. I wouldn't put it past Javes to be like, this squadron's been causing a lot of your casualties. You want them dead? Here they are, on a silver platter. All right, I know I can make this go faster. I'm just really fucking enjoying the scenery. You think the Empire built this listening post just to help them find the Starhawk? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the last listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? And just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go, Five. Give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away. How do I do bombs again? What? I dropped something. Alert tie patrols. Nicely done. You're a natural five. I guess I am hitting the right button for this. Get the broadcast system running. Nope, we nope, that's my countermeasures. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know what the controls for the bomber are. Okay, I think I got him this time. Shit, 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 shit. This was a bad time to forget how to do anything. Something. Is the broadcast system working? Good. I'm calling in some backup. Oh, that's not good. Also out of missiles. Boy, this is really hard for first person. We've lost a dish. Right here and ready to go. Fuck, where is this one? 
Oh, just this big ass one, huh? Okay, I have completely lost. What the fuck? What are my controls again? What the hell? Right trigger for fire. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I am so confused right now. Cycle targets. Hang targets. No, no, no. Fuck, whatever. I don't understand how this works. Shields double front, yeah. Oh, that's the kind of gun I selected. Okay, not what I was expecting from that. Okay. Uh, well, I understand how the guns work now. I do like that auto lock feature, though. That's pretty handy. Boy, where's that A wing when you need it? Good looking out. I can tell there's someone behind me. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be real low. I hope I don't accidentally like blast myself to oblivion with this. Scratch one. One or two more. Thank you. One more. Thanks, Frisk. Receiver down. Like one hell. Oh, that's bombs. How do I switch to? Oh, it's the other button. Damn it. Damn it. Where's Gunny? Where's the nav point? Give me a resupply. Good Thank now. you. There you go. It's a bear. In space! That's hey, only me. Okay, it's okay. We're okay. Regroup with me at the edge of the listening post. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. Oh, that Corvette's taking fire, though. Whoops, that's the wrong... No shields. Shit. Alright, five, form up at the edge of the station. It's time to take out the thermal systems. Okay. Now we're getting into a little bit of Rogue One stuff here. Let me reload. Load faster. The thermal systems are located in the trench circling the edge of the station. I think I see him. Scratch one. That's just rude. Well, I shouldn't be that too close to an explosion. Get that rebel bomber away from our funnels. Yeah, this is kind of just like Rogue One. Oh yeah, I'm out of Got shells. Not shells. Thanks, Gunny. Oh, I missed the other one. They're on my tail. Good looking out. 
Did I miss that other one? Yeah, I did miss that other one. Corvette's taking so much fire. We gotta hurry up before they die. Okay, hang on. This one's personal. Especially since he's going so slow. Thank you. Everyone loves a good trench run. Did that blow up? Telling me to go now. Did I miss one? Right, I'm on it, damn it. I'm initiating my run. Fuck you. I'm on your way. Let's take them down. On your way. We got a lot more ties inbound. Boy, that's close. Serious? It's not my job, I'm a bomber! Oh my god. Fine, I'll help the goddamn Corvette. More Imperial fighters inbound! Wait, I'm reloading! I need the missiles like now, please. Where's that Corvette? Where are you at? I actually need my theories. Yeah, nice. like Corvette can suck at the dick. Can you fucking just please? I don't see any other ties attacking this thing. Holy crap! That's not good. I really don't want to die. Yeah, I really don't want to die. Yeah, I know, man. One of them's straight up like firing sideways. That ain't fair. Shut the fuck up! I'm trying! Oh my god. Then lock onto the right targets, damn it! Oh, come on! Fuck you. What the hell was the rest of the squad? I needed you guys there too. That ain't on me. I took at least five of them down. Good looking out. Thermal system destroyed. Temperatures are rising. Back on. The Empire's just opened a massive vent on the listening post. The thermal systems must be overloading. They're trying to cool down the core. Regroup at the vent. I got an idea. 
thanks for making me do it. Where was the snap point? Oh, I see. This big fuck off thing. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Holy shit. That was the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Looks like an exit to me. <laughs> That's awesome. I love watching Imperial stuff burn. I really do. Give us a little bit of a Death Star 2 run at the end there. Gotta love it. That Corvette should have survived though, I will argue. Next mission, let's go. First can search. Oh, something's going on. All I'm saying is instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Why? Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperial summer. <laughs> Or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. <laughs> Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. You know, we used to be rebels. We turn into a legit Republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? <laughs> in the old days, I'd trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> but I Wait. guess this'll do. You even wear boots? Well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? Oh, okay then. Get some work done. Another full house in the briefing room. Your briefing's ready to go. What star cluster and or nebula is this? First, congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. 
Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer. And hopefully, capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. Oh, this mission is really cool. It sounds really cool. This is an ambush. Ambushing an entire Star Destroyer? That's... That must be tough. Do it. And the Starhawk's crew. More than ready. Hey. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. <laughs> your squadron is waiting. No, no, they're not. It's fine. If Lyndon's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. Sooner the better, if you ask me. Is she really that big Lyndon's a threat? Convinced pretty good, I guess. Put us in danger. I can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The hmm. commander is a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers too. Sure, James is already we'll doing give that. Give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow. Play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. Well, what if they scan the convoy and realize it's the just Empire droids? The occupied Moncala. Mm. I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials. Playing the dumb alien, a bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted, and Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Really noted. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? Do you even have ear? Anyways, the Xavian Abyss. Has this appeared in other Star Wars lore? I'm unfamiliar with it. We're in Y Wings again? All right, Frisk, what do you got? So, the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. Mm -hmm. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> Ew. Of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, say, stopping a Starhawk from being finished. Teresa Carroll's risking the abyss just for the chance to destroy some magnite crystals. Ain't she in for a surprise? To be fair, we don't know what she's gonna I'm send. I'm kind of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All those engineers work their tails off to get it finished. That's one good thing about this new Republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. Hmm. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. Definitely will be. Yeah, Frisk doesn't wear boots, I was right. That being said, again, do we know she's actually going to show up in her flagship, or is that just the assumption we're making? I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Javes must have complete faith in its builders. Or and an us, naivety. Of course. We'll be the ones making this ruse work, after all. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. How? It's not just another capital ship. It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions. But what really caught my eye was the tractor beam. 
If I understood the blueprints, the Starhawk's tractor beam is ten times more powerful than oh, the Star Oh, wow. Destroyer. Okay. It's incredible. The magnite crystals they use in the Starhawk's tractor beam are quite rare. I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing exorbitant. magnite crystals. It's so gratifying to see them go to a good cause. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces, shall we? Shall. Only like rich fancy people ever use the word exorbitant. You got your choice of fighters for this mission. Yes. An X-Wing, Y-Wing, or A-Wing. They've all got pros and cons. Check the schematics and let me know what'll suit you. A-Wing. Absolutely the A-Wing. But let's edit the uh, launch. Nah, let's go, let's go with the damage. I love my A-Wings too much. Repair kit, right auxiliary. I mean, we're going up against potentially. Drop some mine behind. This might be good. I, I don't know. You know what? We're going to try it. Technically, we're the ones getting ambushed. So a mine that I could drop behind me seems probably good. There's multiple shells behind you that intercept missiles locked onto you. Dust. Only works at very close range. You know what? Why the hell not? Let's let's go full getting ambushed mode. Mm. Oh, standard. Actually, less health. I mean, I got the full squadron backing me up here. Fuck it. Why not? I got self stealth run. Oh, but that would kind of negate the mines and the other countermeasures. Actually, let's. Okay, let's. Now let's just do this. Shields. Should my shields be? A wings escorting a convoy. Thrawn would be disappointed. Why though? I'm not. I'm not super familiar with some of the extended Star Wars lore. So, why would Thrawn be disappointed though? Explain this to me. I don't understand the reference. Also, we're escorting a convoy. Let's be clear. It's not a real. A-wings make poor convoys? Are they make poor escorts? Uh, uh, I mean... You know, honestly... Uh, A-wings good for hit and run. Yeah, like hitting and running from the dudes attacking my convoy. I don't know, they seem okay. They're, they're classified as interceptors, so they would be intercepting the enemy trying to take down the convoy. Oh. You know, let's go for fast shield. Standard engines, or... God. No, give me maneuverability. Yeah. Guaranteed to satisfy. A-wings, interceptor, bomber... Intercept bombers and heavy fighters. I mean, yeah, but if you're a really good A-Wing pilot, you can intercept anything, right? Fuck it. My starship. I love the A-Wing too much. Also, it was used in the Eisen Corridor ambush. That'll be fine. Speed and maneuverability. Makes a good defensive... Uh... Fighter for uh, like a screening, a, d a defense screen. As you can see, 
I wasn't exaggerating about the dangers of the Xavian Abyss. And no kidding. Yeah. Look at that lightning. And we got word that Teresa Carroll has taken the bait. Her flagship overseer is closing in. Good luck, Vanguard. Protect that convoy. And see you on the other side. This place is so cool. You can feel it, right? Chaos on every side. We don't belong here. I'd hate to see what No one belongs here. Hey, what happens once the Starhawk disables the Overseer? The same as the Victorum, I expect. Board it, lock its systems, and take the crew prisoner. I don't know, Grace. I can't imagine Teresa Carroll coming along quietly. He's gonna go down with her ship. I hate these clouds. Who knows what's out there? We know what's out there. A Star Destroyer with a captain who wants us dead. Real helpful. Thanks, Gunny. I don't know if Javes is gonna let her get away though. Oh right. In the lore, A-wings are interceptors. They need to be fast if they have to defend convoys. They have to stay in between the convoys. And the yeah, pretty much. Like they're like the outer screen, right? Whoops. Thanks, everyone. We get everything. Oh, holy shit. Oh, that's a Republic cruiser. Or I'd say it's been here a long while. You'd think this would discourage Teresa Carroll. Holy shit. This sort of like her that wreckage ain't a warning. I mean, I guess it is a star destroyer like an early one. Look lively, Vanguard. Imperial ships are on radar. Scouts. I love it when they bring the prequel stuff in like this. It makes it feel very grounded. Whoops. Ignore that. Here I am. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, I locked onto the wrong thing. Behind me. Interceptors already? I caught those ties scanning the convoy. Do you think they know there's no man night? Enemy is destroyed. I think I actually got them with that mine. Nice. Enemies locked on to me. Crap. Yep. That hurts. Of course. I got someone. Oh crap. Gotta get prepared. You're good now. Shit. Am I? Got a lock on me. They're tailing you. <laughs> Mine, do your job, please. Guns got him. Hey, that mine is super useful. Duly noted. Crap. Oh shit! Oh god, I can't see! I can't see! I don't know where I'm going! It's telling me to turn around, but it's lying! Holy crap! Okay! Yeah, the abyss is a dangerous place. Don't go here. Not fun. I kind of wish I'd left this uh, TIE Fighter up for a second. Oh shit, they're coming from behind. Blast that target. Not yet. Reloading. God, I need you to reload faster! Got it!
Thanks, Cuddy. Enemy is destroyed. Glad you're here. Getting them. Oh, God. Your AI is more maneuverable than your ships are allowed to be. Damn, I hate those sudden movements they do. Although it's very rogue squadrony. Nice save. I was actually legit lost in that in that cloud. I'm just gonna let them follow me until they're like locked on, and I'll just place some mines for them to run into. Seems like the easiest thing to do. There you are. What the hell are the rest of my squad doing way back here? Squadron, sorry. That's another one for me. Told you A-Wings were a good choice for this. Okay, now they're just flying out of bounds. Like, what the- fuck you. Yeah, I'll take damage, but no one else, okay? Because you can hack through the clouds. Not fair. Oops. You know what? I'll let them deal with it. Actually, no, I won't. Losing signal. Let's push on. The ambush point is this way. Ready? Let's go. God. I don't know about this. Join it up. If you got a tunnel, it's sort of game over. Yeah, I kind of figured that much. That Imperial or against everyone loves. Oh, 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 that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Ooh, the Imperial theme. I better keep talking because I don't want any copyright strikes, though. God dang it. I swear to God, fucking YouTube's gonna have a fit, though. The one thing I hate about Star Wars music is that the games that deploy it always like. Alright. You have a neck? I am. I'm very focused on the Star Destroyer right behind me. Oh boy. No! We lost a ship. Keep them intact. Trapped. With nowhere to go. Launch fighters! Boy, her, uh, her hubris is showing. Bombers. Shit. What the fuck? Go! This take you. The hell is this game? Scratch one.
last of the fighters. There's like 20 of them. Surprised the Imperials didn't pick it up, but I guess that's kind of part of its technology. What if I'm just a coward? I mean, I'm guessing I eventually have to kill all these fighters, but like, what if I just, what if I just, what if I just pull a Han Solo and just hang out on an asteroid for a while? What happens then? That Star Destroyer is being uncannily accurate with its big guns. Well, it's because the player actually. Uh huh. Yeah, flying. That's what I'm doing right now. Be fine. Come on, Vanguard Squadron, you can do it. I believe in you. What's wrong, Teresa? Can't hit something that ain't a helpless convoy. Tractor beams at sixty-one percent. Okay, I'll go actually help them out. They locked on to me. This is probably gonna get me killed too. That's probably the worst part. I helped. I damaged the tie. You can't say I didn't do anything. No way. Well, we know the Starhawk works. You tossed the Overseer around like a loath rat. Good. These lousy Imperials deserve payback with interest. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? Oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Let's hope so. Hey, hey where's my ship?
Looks like a just like a giant ass hammerhead Corvette. Random jump is so dangerous in Star Wars, I'd rather stay and fight, but then again, that's why I would just be a typical TIE pi fighter pilot and die in the first pass. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the better decision there would have been. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I honestly thought they were gonna, for the mission structure, they were gonna have you jump into Titan Squadron in the same mission. That would have been really cool, but I don't know, we'll see. We shall continue. It's good. Where are we? Alpha Rem. Rem is existing. Grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, there's an L munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grawl. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Grawl, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. <laughs> He wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well, lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, not judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. Could we talk? Well, that could have gone better. I never expected that cobbled together battleship to be more dangerous than the Xavian Abyss. Those dockyard coordinates almost cost us the Overseer. Look at this place. The deck below is even worse. And did you hear? We're not being given the munitions we need to strike back. No wonder Captain Carroll's furious. We'll get through this. Think of Battle Group Echelon after the skirmish at Marisi. Supply lines cut, their Admiral's flagship captured. But they rallied. They fended off the enemy, made repairs in hostile territory, and launched a daring rescue. And when they were ready, they returned to crush the rebels under heel. There's always a way to win. The captain summoned us. Let's not test her patience. Also, why is my Imperial character so fucking short? Well, at least the Interceptor made it. Place got fucking ripped up. Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Graum's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack, and keep the depot safe. Graum is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire. Therefore, they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for Baradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Baradium, and LT-514 will retrieve it remotely. Mm. While Graum is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Baradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember... As long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Baradium. 
Halt the rebel assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's do this right. I hate it when they make you shorter than most of the people around you. At least give me a choice. I did that funny glitch again? No. Why the fuck are stormtroopers even on the deck any? Like, what security are you really providing? Yo, this game is so cool. Yo, boyo! Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I know, I'm loving squadrons. This is... This is the Star Wars Starfighter game I've been dreaming of for years, and I just didn't know it. Um, yeah, it's weird. I appreciate that you're not playing as an Imperial traitor, which is way too typical in Star Wars games. But at the same time, we're still attacking an awful lot of Imperials while we're at it. But the dysfunction is quite nice. I almost got a whole battle set up for this. Yeah, this game's so much fun. It's too bad it didn't have the longevity, but the single player still rocks and kicks ass. This is my first time through it, so no spoilers. Better than them just sitting around in the bunks getting bored? I They look pretty bored to me. At least in the bunks, they could probably practice their accuracy. I owe you and the rest of Titan Squadron an apology. Do you? When the Overseer was attacked, I realized that... Everything I know about war is what I've read. I'm beginning to understand how it must feel in that cockpit under fire. Terrifying. Yet you and the others risk it every day. Android. I took this assignment to learn. Clearly, I still have a long way to go. I know Colonel Brown is in the wrong, and yet seizing his munitions feels drastic. And it is. But Captain Carroll is entirely correct that Admiral Sloan's orders supersede Grom's, and we are committed. To work. There's much to do. To work. I I mean, I love that even the android's reasoning had to, uh, had to follow the uh, hierarchy of command. Why is it that small-minded officers are always the quickest to flaunt what little power they have? Grom can lord over this pathetic corner of the galaxy all he likes, but I will not allow him to jeopardize our mission. She's the only this one that's my height. This has everything we need to annihilate the Starhawk. That's it? Grom may be an obstacle, but he's not our enemy. We will do our duty to protect Imperial assets. Go. Prepare your ship. No way, Captain. You know, I'm just saying, you would probably make a really good rebel considering how many imperial uh things you've attacked in the last couple of missions just saying oh we get to talk to dr badass over here this routine is familiar is it we've suffered we're damaged oh Broken, right even but it's not the end never is Guy's just begging Next to die. Simple. We heal up, find Vanguard, then take revenge. And eat. The first crash was hardest. Had to relearn breathing, walking. So my cockpit in nightmares wasn't personal. The rebels shot me down. My wingmate returned fire. Pain is personal. My team deserved my best. The Empire demanded it. So, step by step, I conquered pain. I rose. I flew. Nadiri's ahead. Until... Until then... Surviving is revenge. Let's fix this. He's a way cooler version of Kylo Ren than Kylo Ren ever was. I was gonna say that. Which Imperial captain is your favorite bear? Um. Who's the guy in Empire Strikes Back that gets choked immediately? Captain Needan? <laughs> 
Does that count? Um, I don't know about calf. I don't know. I guess Veers was pretty, but he became an admiral. Was he a captain at the start? I don't. I mean, I, I mean, if he's an admiral, he was a captain at some one point. Um, I like General Veers. He led the attack on Hoth. Does that count? It never fails. Oh yeah, you. Bureaucratic bastards like Colonel Graham are always in the way. That's literally the Empire, My dude. Died on a rebel raid with 181st that never should have happened. 181st. I the Imperial Senator, who pushed for that doomed mission just as much as I blame the rebels who fired the torpedoes. Pick any military disaster, and you'll always find some bantha brained bureaucrat was behind it. Captain Carroll is making the right call with this mission. Remember this. Let's go. First. <gasps> yeah! Okay, I remember this. The 181st. They were a, uh, they were a TIE Interceptor wing. Uh, where are they? All right, well, they weren't exclusively Interceptors, but I think they flew a lot of Interceptors. Um... But weren't, no, hold on, weren't they referenced in the first Rogue Squadron game? Or was that the 182nd? I don't remember. Fuck. No, come on. Uh. Sorry, hang on. I have to look up a cutscene again. Give me a second. I need to remember which t Interceptor Wing Case and Moore was a part of from the original Rogue Squadron. Whoa. Internet tried to die for a second. Hang on. Cock. Hey, Epic Gaming. The Empire is its own worst enemy most of the time. So are most dictatorships, if you look into them, honestly. Uh, did you know that the Imperial Japanese Army had its own uh, navy? It's true. They did not need their own navy. But they hated the actual Imperial Japanese Navy so much that they decided to try not to use their ships as much as possible. So, yeah, it's very common to all dictatorships. Uh... Rogue Squadron 1. Mission. I think it was? Wow, my uh, my childhood memory is fucking spot on. Like shooting Y Wings, do you? Here's a little message from Gold Squadron. This is Lieutenant Jason Moore of the Imperial 128th, to unidentified. 128th. Y Are you quite. Okay, she was 128th, not 181st. That was wrong. Captain, I'll get right on it. Ah, uh, whoops. Can we do that again? What works best for you? So, I fucking missed this dialogue. Damn it. But we're in an interceptor. My favorite. Why would I put ion cannons on an interceptor? Fuck you. Um, rate of fire. Recharge rate. He's slightly higher DPS. No, I'll go with the rapid fire. Uh, no, I'll go with the rapid fire stuff. We're just hunting local rebels. It shouldn't be that bad. No, we're going for the repair kit. Fuck you. Uh, anti starfighter missiles. Yep, that's what our mission is. Countermeasures will do. Chaff. I'm not expecting anything too too heavy at the moment. I'll go stand on that. Always more maneuverability. Always more maneuverability on my interceptors. That's how I like them. Man, the tie interceptor is such a good looking fighter. It's so good. The interceptor and the bomber are my favorite ties. Starfighters.
soldier to patrol the area in preparation of the enemy attack. Good. My munitions depot is as valuable as it is volatile. I expect you to defend it with your lives. I don't think I have a shadow. Split up and patrol the depot. Find the radio before any rebels arrive. I like the fact that I'm boosting full speed in an interceptor and a TIE bomber's outrunning me. Control towers are operational. Don't let the rebels destroy all three. Nobody survives that chain reaction. Sounds like you speak from experience, Shen. Which I know you do. Governors and commanders of these outposts probably hogging it all to themselves increases their power. No sign of the rebels yet. Rom has several ships in the air. Surprised the uh. Scan them to locate the Paradium. Surprised the inner the uh the overseer isn't docked for repairs. Doing the repairs on their own. Titan three do the same. I uh. I guess the captains. I guess the captain and the colonel aren't exactly seen eye to eye, so. That freighter doesn't have radio, but I'm detecting concussion missiles, heavy ion cannons, and plasma bombs as well. Think of what we could have accomplished at Endor with these supplies. Come on, Titan Three. Got a plan. The Jabez incursion. Our forces used beridium, moved it with Zeta class cargo shuttles. If Grom has beridium, he might be doing the same. We use beridium strikes to drive the rebels out of hiding at Jabez. But it didn't flush the rebels out, it incinerated them. Suspicious going on here. That's it. The radium. I'm tracing its signature across the deep air now. Titan Squadron and Quay Group. A review of the set. I will check it out. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Someone picks me up. Forming up on your position. Thank me later. Ignore that. That mine worked! Actually, I know that mine worked. What's the plan? Ooh! Faster Y Wings, I could shoot you in the face!
God damn it, can you not pull those J turns? Holy shit. Oh, come on. Fuck you, you're still chasing me. Thank God, my wingman actually did something. Still being pursued, though. Come on, mine, do your job. Have a life if I don't defend myself first. That's the way. This is the way. No more bombers detected. That was close. <sighs> Rebel fighters coming out of hyperspace. More of them. Second wave of rebels. Down the Corvette, yeah, because that's gonna be real easy, huh? Tower 3 has been targeted. Boy, they're really just hopping right between the entire station, huh? I don't know if that's really a course of action I would have gone with, but. You know, alright. Yeah, this does just remind me of Starfighter Assault from. Battle, uh, Battlefront 2. We need to shut down that Rebel Corvette! Lucky I was here. Always am. They're going for Tower 1. You're going for Tower 1. Shut up, your station's got plenty of guns. What do you think I'm doing? The enemy has targeted Tower 2. Tower lost. Do not lose this depot. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I need to reload. Oh, destroyed. It's okay, we're good. My wings.
Tower one is safe. They'll be back with friends as we loot the ammo depot of Al's ammo. Here in the middle of the station, the guns would have to be careful since they. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Well, it would have been great to do that like five minutes ago. A-Wings. Wow, it's cool to see the shuttles actually shooting. God damn it. Stop turning like that. Hit? Holy sh! I'm gonna pretend that it was fine. Come on, hit that mine. Oh boy, oh that's a lot of A-Wings. It locked onto the wrong fucking craft! Lock onto the A-Wing for God's sakes! All on notes, thanks for the follow.
sure are. Damn it. Holy oh, crap. Amos, Gram. We keep running into fools who forget what side they're on. See, this is why we need a new Imperial Senate. Someone who can keep these idiots in check. We have a war to win. Officers like Gram need direction, not a leash. Looking to the horizon is all very well, Saul, but remember to look at what's going on around you. With that Beradium at our disposal, we'll be at the forefront of the attack on the Nadiri dockyards. We got caught off guard at the Xavian Abyss. That can't happen again. In one move, Captain Carroll took us from a near shipwreck to a key military asset. She'll have a plan. Let's see what's next. Indeed. Let's see what's next. Oh, droid, droid, droid. Over here. Yeah, droid. That's the plan, Captain. Our victory is nearly at hand. We have the location of the Nadiri dockyards, and the Overseer is almost back to full strength. Our only obstacle now is Vanguard Squadron. I won't let them catch us off guard. Not again. Admiral Sloan has a plan to draw Vanguard Squadron and other defenders away from the Nadiri dockyards. The Admiral has ordered Titan Squadron to play a part, and she wants you to take the lead, for this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Graham. <laughs> Thank you for the warning, Captain, and the promotion. Let's see what we're up against. Everyone ready for the briefing? Our Baradium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. 
We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Oh. Titan 3, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Oh, Make God. Make fast and brutal. They've earned it. Okay, we are attacking Mon Cala, which I take as a shorthand for Mon Calamari, which is the Rebels' main capital ship creators. And we're attacking some just... I mean, it's just like the... Um, it's just like the first mission, just going after the civilians, all right. And while Titan attacks Mon Cala, two battle groups will launch strikes at Onderon and Gorse. Disrupting Republic supply lines. Ah, at ease, pilot. Reports of your achievements have crossed my desk with unusual frequency. Those accolades have been well earned, Admiral. If Titan Squadron's a weapon, our newest pilot is its cutting edge. Just as I'd hoped. Then consider Moncala a test, pilot. Great talent requires greater challenges. Agreed, Admiral Sloan. And I look forward to filing my next commendation report. I'm going to overlook your unapproved acquisition of Colonel Grom's beradium supply. Although I hope you both learned something from that encounter. Colonel Grom is efficient. After all, he did successfully defend his depot without using any of his own resources. But an Imperial officer must also show finesse if they are to command effectively. We understand, Admiral. Completely. That will be all. Uh-huh. Well, she Sloan is certainly playing the teacher, but is she really teaching them lessons going forward? Talk to Shane later. He's the... What about you, Gray? You were in the trailer for this game. Seeing you rise to the occasion, taking lead on this mission. It reminds me why I keep fighting, despite my age, despite the fatigue. We're one step closer to the Starhawk. Ride this confidence, but don't let arrogance get the best of you. We're all expendable, but not every pilot is replaceable. Ooh, when you I... lose a good leader or loyalist, you can't fill the void with just anyone. Good pilots inspire those above and below them. When you're in charge of a squadron someday, remember that. For now, let's focus on the mission. We're expendable but replaceable. Hmm. Chef's kiss to that line. Whoever wrote that, well done. Anvil Squadron. Been a while. You know them. They shot me down once. Lost two vertebrae that time. Jeez, keep track. The anvil burn. Might ease some pain. Overseer's fixed. Good. Superstructure was groaning. Kept me awake. Implants, your metal stresses. Handy in combat. Other times, it's annoying. Hmm. Been watching the mouse droids. They always seem scared. <laughs> Wonder why. Time to go. Maybe they know what's coming. Man, Shen is... Shen... <sighs> he's a bastard because he was with the Empire, but he's so cool in so many other ways. Just like, yeah, I've had my ass kicked a bunch of times, but I'm still here. Also, I could totally cosplay that Imperial. The um, I could totally cosplay as Gray. It wouldn't be that hard. I just have to shave. Basically, just have to shave my uh, sideburns and beard, but keep the goatee. Maybe I should do that for the last episode. Should I do that for the last episode? Too much? I don't know. For this mission, you're authorized to fly a Tie Fighter, Reaper, or Interceptor. 
Well, you know what? I'll go back to the TIE Fighter. I, just, I love the Interceptor, but I love this three burst cannon a lot, actually. Missiles. Yeah, I'll go proton torpedoes, countermeasures. Get the chaff. I'll try the chaff. Eh, ties are fast anyway, so we'll go for the reinforced hull. I don't want to... Acceleration. Actually, no, let's just cancel that out with more acceleration. You have a good eye. Greetings! You get to play this in VR, bro. It's so much cooler. Dude, I wish... But I don't have a lot of games to play in VR. But if I did have a VR headset, I would absolutely play this game first. Perfect. With um, that other game detached, a close second. But yeah, no, I, I can easily imagine this in VR would be amazing. What can I get for you? Oops. Very good then. You can even look behind you and see inside the cockpit. Oh, I know. I mean, you could do that with a free look, but it's I know it's not the same. Titans taking on the anvil. Ship the carrier, yeah, because ties can't jump onto hyperspace. Got it mainly for VR golf. In your body's play, nice. Oh, wow, just one shot, huh? We the baddies? Yes. Yes, we are. Fuel pod is destroyed. Titan, Anvil Squadron has been alerted. Enemy reinforcements will be there any minute. Anvil. Perfect. God damn it. Permission to take point three. Got a score to settle. Permission granted. We're here for Sure is. Oh crap. Maybe I should have taken the interceptor so I could take those bombs or those uh, mines. Oh well. I'll make it work. Best you got? Lucky I was here. 
fuck, there's a Corvette. Okay, well, this is gonna suck. Not the target at the moment. Holy hell! God damn it! Hey, wings, man. Too many of them! Oh my god, that ion missile! Killed a single fighter yet. It's just too many of them. Enemies behind you. Come on. Turn so friggin' quickly, you stupid AI! Taking heavy fire. Oh, there was a Ewing. Wait, where are you? Gimme! Ah! Don't fly right next to me. Fly right in front of me so I can kill you. Holy shit. This, this might take me a while. I apologize. Damn jammers! down to the A-wings. Nice, good disable. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Ah, uh, next wing. I'm taking damage. Oh, 
Oh, I'm just straight up out of missiles. I need to reload. That's why. Holy shit! Okay. Give me a refit. Can you can you please give me a refit refuel please? Dark side, yeah baby. Holy shit, that's a lot of fighters that just spawned in. Oh, we're going after the civvies now. Right. Whoops. Titan three. Time for war crimes. Those transports are our next target. Looks like Anvil Squadron is already here. Oh Christ. Titan Squadron, these ships are under our protection. Leave now or be destroyed. They're weak. There's a third way, Anvil. You won't like it. Cut through those Anvil defenders and destroy the transports. On it. Those transports are fleeing towards Von Kala's planetary defenses. They only delay the inevitable. Picked up a tile. Will we? Fishing off those fucking transports. How much lower can the Imperial sink? This is so precious. Let's press on when you're ready. Not exactly the first time Imperials have attacked civilians. Joining up. This is for the Empire. You gotta go, good luck, bro. Will do. See you on the front lines. Well, that has There's a third. Another transport. I'm on your way.
야. <웃음> 야 uh -huh. Definitely did not die in that process whatsoever. Time to attack a medical frigate. Understood. Right, Said to return to the hangar, didn't you? Fuck you. Do I just fly in there or what? Okay. Actually, just flying in there. Uh, well, I kind of liked what I had. Holy shit. Go back for repairs, please. Just keep going back for repairs. Care if it's cheesing. You gave me the option, I'm taking it. Taking heavy fire. Holy crap, they're already on me.
God damn it! Fuck! We're making a mark. Silver it's okay. God, oh my god, this is fucking chaos. Take out their targeting systems. Keep our flagship safe. Whoops. Sending in time bombers now. The silver coronet's looking rather tarnished. Keep going. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Get him, Von Reg. That's a lot of fire. All bombs launched. The silver coronet outer hull has taken heavy damage. Titan 3, you're clear to make your final assault when ready. Keep away. Already handled that spot. Reloading. One more pass. Excellent work. Our final target lies ahead. 